Hey everybody, Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com, where future hockey stars come to get inspired and put in the extra work. And you're just in time for another helping of the OHT Sunday Motivational Video. Every Sunday I'll be bringing you a different type of video that will hopefully improve your life and hockey career. That is, if you act on the information provided. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on that doggone notification button or you'll be missing out. If you look back in time, People have always been trying to self-improve by acquiring new skills that will allow the individual to perform at a faster, more polished pace. This could be for school, sports, or a hobby. As an off ice stick handling and shooting specialist, I'm constantly searching for ways to help players I get in front of see noticeable improvement in the quickest amount of time. And guess what? I found something pretty cool on how to do so and nobody is teaching it. It's what I call hockey's opposite hand effect. Let me tell you the story. Over 15 years ago, I started to research the process that is followed to reach the higher levels of achievement regardless of the discipline. This could be in business, math, art, and also hockey. Were there common elements, strategies, and practices that worked across the board? Studies have shown that there needs to be a deep passion for whatever it is the individual is chasing in order to have sustained motivation to keep pushing the needle a little bit forward week after week, month after month, year after year. Through further exploration into achieving greatness, information gathered from numerous projects have indicated that there's an enormous amount of practice needed in order to even have a chance to reach the upper rung on the ladder. In most, if not all cases, and again regardless of what the passion is, their journey needs to have around 10,000 hours of deep, deliberate practice and this typically takes roughly 10 years to accomplish. But the biggest commonality to the road to success requires one key ingredient, and that little game changer is called brain growth. What did he say? I couldn't hear you. You gotta grow your brain. And how do you do that? By learning as many new things as we can. More importantly, learning more new things than people you'll be competing against. You see, every time you learn something new, a new brain connection is made in your master computer and wrapped in a material called myelin. The more you practice that skill, the more myelin you earn. The more myelin you earn, the closer you get to the automatic phase. If you want to learn more about myelin, check out the video I made, Is Talent Born or Grown? So I got to thinking, if one of the major keys to achieving what you want in life is learning new skills, how could I expose the players I work with to even more learning? I'll come back to this shortly. About eight years ago, I read somewhere that you could boost your brain power by doing things opposite hand on a regular basis. So I started testing the theory by doing as many things as I could opposite hand. Today, some of the things I do on a regular basis, like brushing my teeth, I can't tell which hand is more proficient than the other anymore. Now, I don't know what boosted brain power feels like because I didn't feel really any smarter, but I did feel a little more skilled and because I'm a competitor, I felt like I got a leg up on people because I was willing to invest a little time each day to get a little better at something opposite hand. I know it sounds weird, but that led me to my next objective and that was to teach myself how to stick handle and shoot opposite hand. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? I guess I was just curious to see how long it would take for the awkwardness to go away for a kid just starting out. A lot of the first lessons I have with players are with ones who are new to the sport or have zero off-ice technical stick handling and shooting training. At the end of this experiment, I'd have insights I could share with these young hockey hopefuls on what to expect from a growth perspective during this developmental process. So I started training three days a week for 30 minutes each session, doing all kinds of drills only with a left-handed stick. Day after day, I'd grind it out, feeling so clumsy and slow for the longest time. But after a couple weeks, things started to change. I started to feel a little more comfortable each day and began to have bigger reaches more regularly, like finally getting my first backhand top shelf. Right around month number three was when the awkwardness kind of disappeared. So right then and there, I knew with 100% certainty that if a player commits to training three times per week for 30 minutes per session, doing my online off-ice stick handling and shooting program, that once they got to the third month, 
things would begin to change in a big way. That's a nice little piece of intel. So for the years that followed, I started to experiment with players I train on a regular basis, having them do an opposite hand drill or two for four to five minutes each lesson. Not really knowing what to expect, the concept was surprisingly well received. I planted the seed on how they can get a leg up on the competition if they did more, a lot more, and became what I call a mega learner, which included some opposite hand training. Most players, if they say they spend time doing off-ice stick handling and shooting at home, it basically consists of a shooting mat, a net or a tarp, and a pile of pucks. They'll shoot all the pucks, go gather them up, and repeat. The majority of the shots are taken on the forehand, totally neglecting the backhand. Does this sound familiar? If this is you, you've stalled out. And what I mean by that is that you're continuing to do the same thing over and over, rarely making any new brain connections, stunting your myelin production. Ugh. Once a player understands this, that with a little extra effort most weeks, they can completely start separating themselves from the players they once thought were so good. It's so awesome to see the learning switch turn on in a player. I always say to them when it happens that their race now begins. So the problem that online hockey training has solved is the riddle on how to develop elite level stick skills. I just retired from a 17 year coaching career where I coached my boys and their buddies from the first time they hit the ice till they left home to play junior college. In that time, I've determined that most players, male or female, use only a small portion of skills available in practices and games. This could be for a variety of reasons, but in the simplest terms, the players that you think are so skilled with a stick and a puck have done one thing most of you have chose not to do, and that's practice more than everyone else, doing stick handling drills, puck tricks, and shooting a lot of pucks, in addition to their regular team practices and game schedule. This could be during the winter playing pond hockey, or working with an on-ice skills instructor before school a couple times a week. But in most cases, it's accumulating weekly hours at home in their garage, basement, or backyard, handling a puck and shooting it way more than everyone else. What online hockey training has done is given every hockey player from around the world the ability to develop elite level stick skills by being able to tap into the world's largest database of off-ice stick handling and shooting drills on the planet, which now exceeds over 1,000 videos and it keeps growing. Thousands and thousands of hockey players from around the world have taken the time to invest in themselves working on their hands in the comforts of their home and at times that work for their schedule and have used OnlineHockeyTraining.com as their elite stick skill path to follow. What I've done is packaged all the drills into individual practice plans where the player will watch the drill example and then they go give it a try for a few minutes and then they move on to the next drill. There's nothing glamorous about developing high-end hands. It takes a long time and requires a lot of effort and sweat equity. My off-ice stick handling and shooting program eliminates you from having to find new drills to work on each week. I've done all the heavy lifting for you. Each training module will keep pushing you to reach outside of your comfort zone and challenge you to raise the bar as you conquer drill after drill. So here's what's cool. In addition to being able to learn hundreds and hundreds of drills you've never seen before, I've jacked up the myelin manufacturing by having you do an opposite hand drill or two in each practice plan. Your brain will feel like it's on fire in a good way because of all the learning that will be taking place. But this isn't even the most important part of regularly doing opposite hand training. There's something that I discovered that is way more impactful. Let me explain. Anytime we try to learn a new skill, the first phase will look crude and in a lot of cases very awkward. The next phase requires a lot of fails or misses as you work towards better proficiency. And this is the phase players get tested mentally because who likes to fail and who especially likes to fail a lot? Nobody does, but this is the time where I see players get extremely frustrated as their body language completely changes and in most cases their execution is negatively affected. So here's what's interesting. In all the lessons I've had with players and having them do opposite hand drills, never once have I ever seen a player get frustrated when working the opposite hand. They have a face of determination or are just smiling when doing the drill. This was a huge finding for me and I use the example all the time when I see frustration setting in on players. I try to get them to refocus on how they felt when they were working the opposite hand. It's a space of advancement, achieving small gains, and is always positive. I teach them to not to view misses or what they consider mistakes or fails as bad but rather as small positive stepping stones or guideposts that will lead them to their final destination. 
It's what I've termed hockey's opposite hand effect. The time has come for you to make a choice. You now know how I'm training hockey players in an off-ice environment and what I'm exposing them to. If you're not making small weekly positive reaches, doing more than just shooting pucks, then you're getting left behind. And that's just the truth. It's not a coincidence that certain players seem to lead their team in scoring year after year. They put in a lot more work than most and have earned the right to have that top spot. They became a mega learner and you can too. If you're looking for ways on how to develop elite level stick skills, it all starts with off-ice stick handling and shooting and I'm your guy. Just head on over to OnlineHockeyTraining.com and see if you need an off-ice stick handling and shooting coach like thousands of players have done before you and become the player you've always dreamed of. Thanks for watching and remember to put in the work and dream bigger than everyone else. I'll see you next time.